Hello guys and welcome it is the SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another episode of how to get good the series where I go ahead pick a weapon use all its variants and teach you guys how to get good with it also have the addition of the hand cam so you guys can see what's going on with my hands when I am using X weapon now today's weapon that we're going to be using is the heavy splatling none other than that very interesting backline weapon I must say uh, it's it's also a fairly long range weapon it also has a charge up speed and has some pretty decent mobility depending on your build. So, let me talk about that. Uh, this weapon needs run speed. You definitely need to have some run speed on it. Uh, you don't have to, of course, but you're gonna notice that you're going to walk extremely slow. And if you didn't actually know, uh, run speed, specifically with heavy splatlings, or splatlings in general, are pretty much amplify ampl amplified, if I can say the word right. They are pretty much amplified. Uh, so, you know, just a little bit of run speed can make you, can do a lot of difference and even more run speed can make a huge difference to your mobility. So that's why you tend to see run speed in general on heavy splatlings. Now with my heavy splatling build, it is a very standard basic build, to be very honest. It's just a bunch of run speed and then just a couple of other perks that I might want to have. Uh, so... You know, it's very, very standard. So you guys are free to kind of work around with run speed with what you think uh, will work best for you. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into some games. Let me teach you guys how you can go ahead and go uh, do some things with this heavy splatling. And let's get this started. Okay, you guys, so here we are, finally getting into a game. Uh, perfect rotation, I would say. Tower control on Moray and tower control on Skipper. Uh, I'm mainly saying it's perfect mainly because it's tower control and I have a stingray, which is like ultimate defense. So, but to talk a little bit about the heavy splatling, what you kind of want to do with it uh, when you are playing, you go, you really want to make sure that you're using your walls to your advantage because uh, obviously if you're behind cover, no one's going to really be able to mess with you and you can kind of just pop out of there uh, whenever you want. So there is a guy up there. So, so I'm just going to make sure to watch him. I believe that is actually the Jet Scorcher, so... Do a quick challenge here. I don't know if there's more than one person here, but... I'm going to use this wall to my advantage. Pop up from here. Easy kill. And same thing from this, situations like this. I don't even think I can get the hits there, but... That's good. Now, this is a strange Stingray. Don't recommend this, because it's, like, super close up. But I wanted to do it mainly because I know that Charger was up there. Okay, so that charger is still up there. I'm actually going to back up in this situation. Because I can, I could commit and kind of stay where I am there, but I'm kind of asking myself to die, mainly because there's like, there's like five, four, no, not five, but four people already there. So, you know, I'm not really trying to just go ahead and waste life there. Now, there is a junior. Charger is going to die. If I can kill this junior, ah, oh, he's one shot. Unlucky, but decent situation there. We're actually cleaning it up now. It's just the junior. So in this situation right now, since we just did, did get a full wipe down there, I'm actually going to come up from the top, uh, mainly because my enemy team is spawning in. So I can actually... I'm going to do something very unconventional. We're going to flank <laughs> as backline. But also not try and get noticed at the same time. So... Last one is the junior. I am literally just going to chill here. Unless this guy knows I'm here. There we go. Nice. That guy is very weak. Uh, I'm probably going to die here. Unfortunate. <laughs> I could have been. A, I could have played it a little bit safer when I got that very first kill. But I wanted to see if I can still frag out a little bit. Uh, considering they were fighting me for a fair bit down there. I'm going to continue just kind of pushing this left side again. Oh, the entire team is actually there. All right, we're doing a flank again. Okay, there's a guy over here as well. Oh, if I could actually full charge that, that would have been great. Okay, nice. Last one's the junior up there. I'm going to take the, use my advantage of my run speed to kind of run up. Okay, run back, run back, run back, run back. I actually have a stingray ready. Uh, so I'm going to actually use this to my advantage and stingray these guys out. That guy's weak. My stingrays aren't going to be so long since I don't have any special charge. 
uh, well, not special charge, but special power up. So uh, that is something I do have to, like, I guess, be careful about. I guess we're just going to chill this. I mean, there's a guy chilling over here. And I'm possibly going to die, but <laughs> I got a couple more points. So at least if we start pushing again, uh, we should be able to push it a lot faster up to that point. So, you know, it's not so bad. It's not the worst thing in the world. Also, they were pretty, pr pretty much pushed into their spawn. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again, since uh, this entire team is actually... Uh, well, none of them are actually deciding to go up from the top, so here I come. They aren't watching their back. There we go. Uh, he is one shot. There we go, nice. Had to just kill there. The Junior's right there, using the wall to my advantage. You kind of notice that... You want to always try to use your surroundings to your advantage because it will give you the best time of day. Like, majority of the time it will give you the best time of day, so... Uh, I'm actually just going to sting right here. Oh. Try and get go for the stingray over to this guy, or at least if I'm stingraying, it's going to actually annoy him. If I had special power-up, I may have been able to be able to challenge that a little bit better. Uh, you want to flank again? It's a little bit weird that I'm actually trying to flank most of the time. I mean, to be very honest, they actually have three backline and we have two. So it's a very backline game. So, like, I mean, majority of the time you probably wouldn't want to do this kind of, st this kind of stuff. But, I mean, I was just kind of in those positions where I was just like, okay, I might as well. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, this is actually very deftly. I mean, as long as I chill up here, I think we're good. Uh, nice, a nice kill. We just have to basically suppress tower at this point. Because uh, I don't have a stingray. So, we're chilling. That guy's gonna get on tower. And nicely done. Alright. <laughs> that was a interesting first game. I mean, it was filled, filled with backlines, but... I mean, if we're in a game like that, especially in solo queue, since... Sometimes you're gonna get games like that. Uh, that's kind of how you just have to be. Like you just kind of have to put one a step forward and be like, "All right, I gotta, I gotta get my aggression game on," you know. <laughs> All right, but next, uh, let's get into the next uh, splatling. Using now the heavy splatling deco. As you can see, it has wool. Well, if I can actually show you wool and bubble blower. So it's a little bit different. Uh, I have changed my build for this. Uh, I've Switched out the shirt, and now I'm using Object Shredder because I think this is one of those weapons where uh, this weapon can really benefit with the Object Shredder uh, because of the bubbles as well. I do have a little bit of special power up just to power up the bubbles or make them, a I guess, slightly bigger. Uh, sometimes two can be really nice, but you know, sometimes I would like, sometimes I want like a whole, like a whole, whole batch of this. But if I'm going to do that, then I'm going to be giving up a bunch of. Uh, run speed, which is not so nice for me. And I also want the ink resistance as well, so... You know, I can't have everything, unfortunately. Like, if I had... I mean, if I was really going to uh, get rid of something, I'll probably get rid of one special power-up and then uh, put, like, a bomb defense or a quick super jump out on it, so... Yeah, that's basically what we're going with right now, and so let's get into the game. All right, guys, so here we are going into another game with the heavy splatling deco this time around, but perfectly enough, the rotation has changed. And now it's on Clan Blitz, which is perfect for the heavy splatling deco. So let's get some stuff going here, guys. Now, I have the heavy splatling. There are a couple of things I do want to mention with it because this weapon, how it kind of plays, is that it's just, it's like a splatling with just a bunch of shields. In my opinion, it's like you use the bubbles for your shield, you use the wool for your shield, like, it is a splatling full of shields. So it's a very... It can be a pretty defensive splatling, which is quite nice. Uh, I'm gonna actually throw some bubbles around. So, try and use that to your advantage. I do have Object Trader on this, so the bubble will be popped fairly fast. There is actually a, a Squeaver in the middle. I don't think he notices me there, so we're gonna take him out straight away. This guy is very weak. There we go. Nicely done. And uh, a couple of things I want to mention, especially just in general for Clan Blitz, is that playing Clan Blitz especially, uh, you really want to make sure that you have map control, because map control is going to first, of course, allow you to fight in general, 
And, of course, map control is going to allow you to be able to locate clams that are cr going across the map. So, that is one thing you, wa you really want map control. Uh, unfortunately, I got pushed back, especially because we there was a couple of people pressuring in the middle. There's actually a guy right there. I don't think he saw me, but I definitely saw him, so... I'm going to go ahead and take him out. There are two people in front of me. I'm actually going to protect myself with some bubbles here. I'm actually going to get back up. Get back onto this point. Because they can uh, do a, a potentially very dangerous push. So the wall is up. Oh, the bomb might kill. I can't, I can't play. I can't be here anymore. I can't be here anymore. So we're going to chill right here. Bubbles are out. Goodbye, Mr. Squeezer. They don't seem to have any power clams, or clams in general, so we're going to go ahead and t take another guy out there. And, uh, yeah. Also, I guess in a situation when you are being completely pressured, or you have, I guess, the enemy team has scores something and you're trying to get back, your main goal is to try and get towards middle as best as you possibly can, because if you don't get middle, it's going to make the, the job way harder to do. It's going to make everything way harder to do because what middle allows you to do is basically just be able to perform or get a push going, basically. So, you know, kill that guy real quick. They're scoring a little too much for my liking. There's actually a person still there, and I believe there's someone right on this corner here. Or I think there is somewhere under. They actually have a jump there, so... What? Okay, well, unfortunately, I didn't get the kill there, but we at least now have middle control. Roller right here. I want to be very safe. There we go. Nice. All right. The blaster is on the left side. They are pushing back. I do have bubbles, so I'm putting the bubbles out. I think they may have been a little early, but uh, I just want to assure my safety at least. And it's actually going to delay them a little bit, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Now, I do have... Oh, wait. Nope. Can't chill here for so long, actually. Well, not as long as I can't want to right now. Blaster right there. I'm probably gonna die. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> Alright, we actually do do have a power climb still, but I do... I think the, the thing I'm gonna do is just con control middle here, and then uh, try to form another push. So, oh god, the roll is coming in. It is a trade, unfortunately. Oh. I will trade there as well, so I need my uh, spider shot just to chill and not push so hard. I didn't expect us to actually score straight away again, so that's uh, that was kind of out of the blue, not gonna lie. But let's see if we can get something done here. They have bubbles. Well, they have bubbled pretty early there. There we go, nice. I am... Well, there's a good thing I didn't push because the roller was right in front of me. Junior's gonna die. Uh, I don't know if there will be someone... I don't know if there's someone up here, actually, so... I'm just kind of making sure that they don't push. They have pushed now. I'm putting, I'm gonna die, unfortunately. They had to splash down, and it was just perfect for them. Okay, nice two kills there. There might still be a chance for us, actually, if we can get control in middle. I don't know uh, if anyone... Or anyone... If is, I don't know if there's any stragglers, basically. I don't know if we scored too early there, I'm not gonna lie. But, throw a couple clams in, we do get the lead, I'm out! I'm getting out of there. I'm actually pretty surprised that I still lived that. I'm probably gonna die here for sure, but... It is, uh, it is pretty fortunate for us that I did survive in that situation. Uh, just to get those clams in. Now, we gotta be very careful, we gotta make sure we get these picks, like, now. That's a good starting kill, we get one kill there. Oh! The roller's here! The roller is here! The jump has been made. It's only one person. So it's just a matter of uh, trying to stop this jump. And the recurring clams that could possibly come in. Nicely done. I'm fully looking. It's just the roller now. I don't know where the roller is. Okay, I did kill the roller off. There's one more person. Okay. <laughs> That was, uh, that was too close. That was, a uh, that was a much closer game than I thought it was gonna be, but... Wow. <laughs> we didn't give up there, so that's good. That was a good game. Alright, so... I'm happy about that. 
we'll we'll take that game f and uh, we'll move on. Those power clans that we got in were very very dangerous. Jeez. All right, so the final splatling that we have is the heavy splatling remix. Now, I'm actually going to be going with my very standard heavy build because that is the most comfortable build for me personally. Uh, so, I mean, it works the same way. I should be getting pretty uh, plenty of booyah bombs just because the weapon does paint somewhat decently or decently enough that you can still get quite a few of them. So uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's get into this game. It's going to be on Sturgeon Shipyard. And we are going to be doing the exact same thing, except we're going to be throwing Booyah Bombs this time, so. Let's see if we can get it done. Alright, no 3v4s, no silliness. Let's just get a solid game in. And at least it's on Humpback Pump Check, so we have a little bit of map variety. I think Booyah Bomb actually on this map probably uh, would be like far better. I'm actually just going to restart the thing real quick. Alright, okay. And we have a camera. Let's go. All right, so here we are. So let's try and get middle control. There is a guy that's kind of suppressed pretty hard down there. If I can have a teammate to just kind of rush that down for me. There we go. Nicely done. This guy's shooting this thing for a really long time. All right. Last one's a roller somewhere. Nicely done. I am going to just try and paint a little bit. That guy's getting slapped across the head. Toss a couple clams in. Uh... One thing I would mention as well, especially with this splatling in general, this was uh, this is actually the splatling that I would say is probably the most popular uh, currently, or well, one of those popular backline splatlings. You definitely see this a lot more. Uh, back in the day, you used to see a lot of uh, bull points, but when that thing got nerfed, uh, a lot of people started to uh, come come away from it. But I mean, I guess the bull point splatling isn't really too necessary at this point. It doesn't. I don't think it really meant doesn't really matter. I guess in terms of the heavy splatlings, this is probably the most uh, popular one. I do believe there's someone coming over there, right? Yep. Nicely done. All right, sick. Uh, it's just this worker like pro here. I'm going to booyah bomb just to keep my person safe. Oh. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. Uh. All right. Running away. Gonna flank from the right side. Kill that guy, can't oh, spawn. I have a couple of clams to l l relay in him. Watching the spawn. I don't think... Well, there's, there's a... There's something somewhere. Oh. I almost messed that up, but I, got, I came away with two kills there. I don't think we're gonna end it off like that. <laughs> we're definitely gonna not gonna end that, that game off like that. We're gonna have one more, but, you know. Let's get another one. And, uh, yeah. We'll get another game in. Alright, so we're gonna get into this last game. Or, well, let's see if we can get into this last game. Let's see what we can do in this one. Uh, we are going to be using the Heavy Splatling once again. Or the Heavy Splatling Remix once again. And it's gonna be on Sturgeon Shipyard, so we're getting the best of both worlds on both maps. So let's get things started. All right. So interesting uh, compositions there. Interest I'm actually the only backline in this game, so that's cool. Uh, I'm going to try and play faster, though. Or try and play faster just so I can keep up with all these little not backline weapons, if you know what I mean. So that guy is dead. He is dead as well. I did see someone from the bottom. I'm going to stay alive. Actually, substrafed with my backline weapon. Don't normally get to see that, but hey, it works. Man, you can't just run in like that, hello? You see ink, you gotta paint it. You gotta paint it. You can't just full force go in by yourself. Like, you ain't gonna get anything done like that. Sorry, I'm talking about other people. <laughs> but, you know. Well, that guy's dead. <laughs> that guy's definitely dead. Alright, I'm gonna toss a booyah bomb right here. I don't know if this guy's gone beneath. Okay, he didn't go beneath. But... That would have that would have been his next move to actually survive, unless he had gone back enough to be able to survive that. But I don't know, dude. Anyways, the Tristosher is so weak. I got plenty of hints on him. We're actually gonna score for the second time, but I can't relay it because we're nowhere near, you know, nowhere near to be actually actually be able to help in that situation. That guy's one shot, and I'm sad because I could have killed him. 
No, and he killed me instead. That's unfortunate there, but it's okay. They have two bulls. I do see my dude just camping here. Mike, it looks like looks like he's camping for a kill. There we go. Now do. That's two. That's another one. That guy inkjetted into that. And we are looking for the nozzle nose. Not sure where he's hanging. He flanked all the way around. Alright, that's exactly where he was hanging. Alright. I'm gonna toss that over there. Unfortunately, I didn't mark the Trislusher how I wanted it to, but it's fine. My dude's actually still got him. I'm popping a Booyah Bomb, tossing it in that area. Maybe a little too early, but it's fine. That's gonna, like, I guess intimidate them a little bit more. But we're pushing in, but I don't know what we're doing, but we're, like, running in. Like, there should be no reason for us to run in with, like, no special and just die like that. My opinion. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Nozzle Nose still chased me, but I think I got the bull safe. Yeah, there we go. My teammate picked it up. The Nozzle Nose is now beneath. Uh, I'll be our a little bit. That guy did get in. I'm picking this bull up. And I will toss it in. Oh my god, I almost... <laughs> I almost messed that up. That could have been really bad, but... A push to 16 is still very decent. I'll take that. I'll take that. Alright. So, it does seem like... Uh, they are... Well, we need to try and get control of middle somehow. Oh, I might have challenged that way too early. Or a little earlier than I thought I wanted to. There we go. That's... Not so bad, actually. Oh, I hit someone there. Nice. All right. That was pretty lucky because I didn't. I didn't think there was a guy there, but uh, it's just very fortunate, honestly. All right, this guy might push all the way. I'm hoping for him to push pretty deep. Oh, they actually got it in. Uh, no shots there. Toss that over there just in case. Yo, you gotta stop this guy. Thank you. Nice, last one's a Trisusher somewhere. I believe he's on the right side, so he's now marked, so we know exactly where he is. Nice. Alright, perfect. We can get control in middle here, and we should be decent. We should be solid. I'm close to a Booyah Bomb, so we can also use that to push. I'm actually going to pop it now, because it seems like these guys just kind of go in when they, whenever they want. So, you know, I guess, I guess that's how we're playing it. I'm being chased pretty hard here. I don't know how my teammates are doing right now, but it does seem like... This guy really wants me, dudes. That bull's gonna... Well, that bomb is gonna kill me, unfortunately, but... Uh, a few clams in. We're not gonna get... We're not gonna uh, get rid of the penalty, unfortunately, but... You know, a few clams will do. Oh, all right, last one's a tri-slusher. Oh, I do see a tri-slusher right here. Nice. Uh, I can't challenge that. So we'll go around, we'll go back. Because it is two people with bulls. Nicely done. Okay, cool. We're looking for two guys here. Try such is gonna die. This guy has to challenge. Well he doesn't have to challenge, but I assumed that he was going to anyway, because you know it's four seconds left, and there's not a lot of time. We want a bull. So Yeah. Alright, so that is going to be it. We had a Pretty decent last game, so I'm happy with that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that last one. We had some decent games all around, so... Good stuff there. Good game to end it off. Hope you guys enjoyed the Splatling gameplay. And uh, learnt a thing or two of it, so... She'll see you guys in the gear screen. But yeah, guys, that is the heavy Splatling. I hope you guys enjoyed. We had some really good games. Uh, with all of them today. It's a really interesting backline weapon and it does quite a lot of things. Uh, I definitely prefer the remix out of all of them. Like, I like the, I probably like the Heavy Splatling second and then the Deco last. I guess with the Deco, it's more of a thing where I feel like I'm better with other bubble weapons in general and I feel like I get more use, or I, I use the bubbles a lot more. Uh, with those and plus I can't really utilize these bu the bubbles too much because I feel like I need to have a lot of run speed especially when I'm playing this weapon so that is just me but what do you guys think I mean if you guys are heavy spiteling mains or just trying to get good with a heavy spiteling I hope this still 
helped in some sort of way because you do definitely want to use your walls as best as you possibly can because you definitely saw that throughout the gameplay. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned a thing or two about Clam Blitz as well because I think I shed some tears there. Shed some tears. Shed some tips there as well, so <laughs> I'm crying. Anyways, I bet there's this weird, weird sense of deja vu, but anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please, if you did, please like, ferret, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're free and generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button if, to let you guys know whenever I do upload a video. Also, consider joining my public Discord server where you can go ahead and talk to myself and my Dude Society community. With all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of How to Get Good. And that is all I've got to say. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you guys in a future video.